Despite being on intravenous drips, many of the boys were able to walk, but it was the sheer scale of the suspected poisoning. Hospital wards packed with boys who'd only hours earlier been struck down. This doctor says around 100 students fell unconscious after eating beans being sold by a vendor in front of their school, and then they were all taken to hospital. The authorities are investigating what and who is behind this. Suspicion centres on the man who owns the food stall. He was selling beans outside the school, says this boy. He told us that if we ate the beans, he would ask our teachers to pass us in the exam. As the boys are being treated for suspected poisoning, that man is now being questioned by police. Previous reports of poison attacks on schools have turned out to be false, although Taliban insurgents have poisoned Afghan police and soldiers in the past. Only yesterday, the Taliban claimed that they carried out a suicide bombing against an armoured vehicle used by foreign troops in the capital, Kabul, while a NATO convoy was also targeted in Jalalabad. Three civilians died and more than a dozen were injured. Last year, 10,000 civilians were killed or injured in Afghanistan. The United Nations estimates that the Taliban and other insurgent groups are to blame for three-quarters of those. Nick Ravenscroft, Sky News.